Bill Corin Klasnar, ya conectado. Joven okay. Valle. How are you? How are you, Joven Valle? Where are you from? Good evening, good evening. How are you? Can you hear me? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Great, great, great. Excellent. How are you tonight? Ready. Ready. Excellent. That's the attitude, right? To start up with that class with all the powers. So let's see here. Did you have dinner yet, Mr. Iglesia? Yes, sir. I normally have dinner before the class. All right. What about you? I am here present. Listen. Okay. Okay. So let's see. One second. Okay. There you go. Let's see. I'll be just a listener. You're going to be as a listener, Mr. Martinez, right? He's practicing teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Excellent. So right now. I'm sharing the screen. Very good. So you can see it now, my friends. So let's start with the conversation right here. So this is going to be the um, presentation that we're going to be working on tonight. All right. And as you might know, in every single class, we like to start with a tone twister. So you can see uh, this one right here. All right. So let's take a look to see what's the tone twister for tonight. And it's the one you can see here. Pay attention, everybody. And let's see how you pronounce it. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This one right here, it's six, six, hicks, nick. One more time. Six, six, hicks, nick. All right, so one more time. Do we go with this one? Six, six, hicks, nick. All right, so like that, like that. All right. Yeah, that's the first part. That's the first part, all right? Let's see here. One more time. It's going to be six slick bricks. Six slick bricks with picks and sticks. All right, so let's go on this one right here. Six, six, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks with sticks and sticks. So let's just say practice, 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 practice. One more time here. Let's practice, okay? So we have that one right here. We can check it out, All right? Repeat, please. So let's see, let's see. Come on. I will repeat it one more time. All right, so gonna be here six six hick nick six slick bricks with picks and sticks yay exactly All right so it goes like six sick hicks nick six slick bricks with picks and sticks that's practice, 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 practice. Uh -huh. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Six, six, hicks, meet with sleek bricks with picks and sticks. There you go, there you go, there you go. Six, six, excellent, 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 excellent. Six, six, six. Yay, like that one. Remember. Six, six, hicks, nick, six, slick, bricks, with picks, and sticks. Exactly. All right. 
So, well, time for actually choosing a volunteer right here. Who is going to be my first volunteer? Yep. Volunteer, volunteer. Me, teacher. Thank you, Mr. Martinez, Saul Martinez, please. Okay. Start. Six, 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 nick, six, slick, bricks, with picks and sticks. Excellent, my friend. That's actually very good. Exactly as we were practicing it, right? So good job, good job. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Who's next? Next, next, next. Boy, pues. Okay, Mr. Iglesias, go ahead. Uh, six, 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 nick, six, lick, bricks, with, with picks and sticks. There you go. Excellent. Good job as well, my friend. That was easy, easy for you. Good job, good job. All right, thank you. Who's next, yes. next, next, next? Me, teacher. Oh, Mr. Edmundo Martinez. Hello. Go ahead. Six, six, hick, nick, six, slick, brick, with pick, and stick. And sticks. All right. Great job. Actually, actually, it's a great job for you too. All right. Very good. Very good. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who else is going to help me with this? Any other volunteer? Ya tuvimos a, a Saul, a Edmundo, and Adam. All right. So what about the rest? David? Mm -hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, Ever. Hello, Ever. Go ahead. Sick, sick, hick, nick, six, lit, brick, with, pick, and sit. And six. All right. Great, great, great. Awesome, 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 awesome. Good job, good job, good job. All right. Thank you. Anybody else? Huh? Yes, yes, yes. David, Consuelo. Franklin, Monica, Santos. All right, who else is here? Benjamin, uh -huh. no more volunteers? Come on, one more. Just one more, and we finish, one more. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, everybody. It's okay then. So you're very shy tonight. No problem. Maybe in the next activity. Okay, let me just clean this so we can continue with the next part here. All right, excellent. So we are going to um have a review regarding food. Remember, we were talking about food last night, right? So in we have tried this one right here. And we are going to complete the sentences with information about food. So you personally, you know, you're going to answer the questions on your personal a opinion right so for example number one here it says i have never tried and then it says food here you have to mention what type of food you have okay. never tried right so for example i have never <laughs> tried like uh-huh italian food for example all right so what about you people what type of food you have never tried I have yes, never yes. tried Indian food. Okay, for example, all right. Indian food. There you go. Excellent. So, just to make it a little bit bigger here. There you go. I have never tried Indian food. Excellent. Thank you. We we'll go with the next one. The next one says, I have tried food, but I don't really like it. Huh? It will be like one type of food that you already tried, but you didn't like it. Que ya probó, pero no le gustó. Which one? I, I have tried Japanese food, but I don't really like it. Like sushi? Yes, like sushi. Yeah, I don't like it. You don't like it. Okay, cool. There you go. Very good. Thank you. And then the number three, it says, the most unusual thing I have ever eaten is... All right, it says here, la cosa más inusual que he comido, right? The most unusual thing I have ever eaten is, what is it? Something weird, something extreme. Rice. The most unusual thing I have ever eaten is rice with gan gandules. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> rice with gandules. Mr. Ever, 
Mr. Mr. Gallego, like it. <laughs> oh my goodness. The most the most unusual thing I have ever eaten is kusuko. Okay. Kusuko you say it like in in uh, in English? Armadillo. In Spanish, exactly. In English is the same. So the pronunciation changes, right? And instead of saying armadillo, we say armadillo with one L. <laughs> mm -hmm. But it's the same. Yes. All right. So then number four, talk about like the worst food you have ever tried. Like uh, eat. Which one? La peor, the worst. This is like what it means the worst right here. La peor, the worst. Mm -hmm. What is it? The worst. The worst is lo peor. Correct. That is correct. What is the worst food you have ever tried? La peor comida que has probado. Yes. What is it? Mm. Yep. Any volunteer? To talk about the worst thing you have ever eaten? Mm. The worst food I have ever tried is mondongo. Okay. It says it's mondongo. Is it sopa de pata, my friend? No, te gusta la no. no, it is not sopa de pata. It's not sopa de pata. Mm -hmm. So what is it? It's a soup like uh, with um, chorizo, sausage. Sausage? Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. For me, the worst food I have ever tried is banana soup. Banana soup? The worst food. Of plantain soup. Oh my God. Worst food I have ever. Rice is, is, como dice, carne agridulce. It would be that bitter sweet. No me gusta. Sweet meat. Like that meat. one. Bitter sweet meat. Me, mm -hmm. miss, me seek. There you go. All right. Imagine. Jesus. All right, so then number five. Number five says here, a dish I have never tried, but I would like to try, right? Dish. Un platillo, this is actually what it says right here, a dish, un platillo que nunca uh, he probado, but I would like to try. Me gustaría probar. Which one is it? A dish I have never tried, but I would like to try is caviar. <laughs> Which one? Hmm? What do you say, Edmundo? Caviar. Caviar, all right. So I'm not sure if you spread it like that, right? You see? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. That, 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 that's very expensive, right? Expensive, yeah. Right. Mr. You know Lemos, why? Mr. Lemos, eat. <laughs> Number seven. Uh -huh. Number six. Number six, but oh, excuse me, Mr. Lucha. I have oh, number seven. Seven. I have never, I have, I have often cooked. I have often cooked beef soup. Beef soup? Beef soup. Okay, excellent. So we got this one right here. So you see, we this is just the information provided by you, right? So the answers that you can see here are based on your opinions and preferences, right? Thank you. Thank you very much for helping me with that one. Let's just continue with this one. Oh, do you have questions about vocabulary here? No mm -hmm. vocabulary? Try it. What Try is it. Right? In, it. Like in this case right here, it's going to be a probado. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my friend. All right, so let's see. Now, let's review what's the topic for today. All right, so everybody, let's just discuss these things right here. All right, so and we're going to be talking about what people like to do on vacation. 
All right, so here we have some examples, right, about the activities that people like to do on vacation, right? So for example, people say right here that they take language cooking or sailing lessons. Uh, lessons, I'm sorry. All right, so um, on vacations, do you do that people? Ustedes toman algún curso de idiomas, de cocina o de navegación, all right? Yes or no, depending on this one, right? Join an archaeology, archaeological dig, una excavación archaeological, right? So, para descubrir something new. Would you like to try these activities, my friends, on vacations? No. Yes or no? All right. Remember, get a sailing, my friends? Yeah. Navigar. Navigar. Very good. All right. So. I like to take a cruise on, on the hamaca. Hammock. All right. The hammock. Very hammock. good. Yeah, like that one. Then we have other activities. For example, activities for enjoying the nature, right? So we have this one right there. We can go camping, hiking, or fishing. Or you can relax at the beach. Which one would you prefer? Would you like to go camping, hiking, or fishing? Relax at the beach. Relax at the beach, right? That sounds nice. <clears throat> Very good. Go camping. What is go camping, my friends? Mm -hmm. Acampar. Acampar. Very good. Excellent. Right? In hiking? Caminata. Oh. Caminata. Oh. Así como ven aquí. Right? Or senderismo, le llaman, yes. I guess. All right? So. Senderismo. Yeah, caminata. Yeah. Like that. It's the same thing. All right? Or take an exciting trip. Right? Tomar un viaje emocionante. Right? So, to go to a different country or to visit a foreign country. Travel through their own country by car or train, right? So, sería que, my friend, esta parte de aquí, travel through uh, their own country by car or oh, train. Mm -hmm. What would that be? Travel through their own country by car. Yeah. Yes, excellent. So, like, for example, you know, here in El Salvador, to go to a different... Um, a different place, right? So, for example, here in San Salvador, if you live in San Salvador and you want to go to a different place, you can go to San Miguel, La Unión, Santa Ana, etc., right? That's what it means right there by travel to your own country. Or you can visit a different country, just like um, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, etc., right? Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. And you go with the last one. The last one is actually something common here, all right? So, uh, to stay home, stay home, stay home, stay home. So, catch up on reading or fix up or redecorate the house, redecorate the house, like that one, all right? Very good, excellent. So, you got it, my friends? Which, yeah, activity, which activity would you prefer to do? Uh-huh. What activity? Which activity? Go, go camp. Go, go yeah, hiking. Hiking. Go hiking. Right? Go hiking, teacher. All right. Very good. Where would you like to go hiking? Here in El Salvador or to a different country? In my country. Where? El Salvador. Where? I, I go to the Picacho Mountain. El Picacho. All right. Very good. What about El Imposible? Have you ever tried that one? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What about everybody else? For example, Mr. Saul, what activity le gustaría hacer? What activity would you like to do? E... Go to the beach and um... El... Cuco. El Cuco. It's a nice beach. Yes, absolutely. All right. <laughs> very good, very good. Excellent. Uh -huh. uh, who else? Who else can participate right here? Anybody else who wants to share? Where would you like to go? Here? Uh -huh. No. Okay, cool. Fine. So let's just continue. Let's see this one. Let me clean this. And the next one, it's going to be, oops, I'm sorry. We're supposed to be in this one first. All right. There you go. Excellent. In sorry guys, internet connection issues. There you go. Activity number two. So, well, everybody, 
we are going to actually practice this conversation right here. All right, so I hope you can participate. All right, so, eh, vamos a ver si es cierto. One second. Excuse me. Let's see who is here. All right, so we will see it right, right now. Okay. One quick second, my friends. Let's see, let's see. There you go, excellent. Oh my goodness, somebody's blowing there, all right? Whistling. There you go. Let's see, my friends, just check in. If someone is already here and they say present whenever they listen to their names, right? So one second. <laughs> okay. Do you see the conversation now, people here? Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. So before we continue with that one. We will see here. Okay, very good. Oh my goodness, what happens? Here is. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Nilson Rivera. Now, all right, Carlos Alberto Santos. No, here. Very good. Excellent. Carlos Edgardo Cruz. Here. David Rosales. Present teacher. Present teacher. Ah, David. Uh -huh. O sea, que va a participar. Very good. Thank you. Veamos. Edith Consuelo Represa. I am here, teacher. Excellent. Volunteer, oiga. All right. So, Edmundo Martinez Lucha. Present Present teacher. Thank you. Enrique Perez Lemus. No. All right. Erika Guillén. I've never seen him. Ever Enrique Gallegos. Present teacher. Otro volunteer. Very good. Ya llevamos tres parejas. All right. So good, good, good. Franklin de la O. Ah, pero no contesta. Franklin de la O Ayala. Yes, volunteer también, my friend. All right, so Herbert Aristides Oya. No, Mr. Oya tonight. All right. Benjamin Gavidia. Present teacher. Excellent, excellent. All right, so Juan Francisco. Ahí está Juan Francisco. Connected. I can see it. Volunteer. All right, so Magdalena not here tonight. Okay. Eh, Mónica Ibet. Present, teacher. Excellent. Volunteered also. Thank you. Volunteer. Santos Arias. <laughs> Santos, Santos Arias. I am here, present teacher. Volunteer Very good. too. Volunteer también para Volunteer conversar. too. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> Saúl Ernesto Martínez. Present, present teacher. Okay. And Wilber Rafael, que he says he's driving. Okay, fine. Thank yes. you very much. Okay, excellent. Así que como ya dijeron present todos, there you go, a leer, okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, uh, really I'm going to pronounce it here, so pay attention. It says, Julia, I am so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I will just stay home. Maybe I'll catch up on my readings. What about you? Any plans? Well. My parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I am going to take long walks along the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sounds great. Say, why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I would love to. Very good, excellent. So that's the conversation that you guys have to repeat there. So who are going to be my first two volunteers? Mm -hmm. Mi teacher. Dos voluntarios. Mi teacher. All right. Edmundo and. Mi teacher. 
ever, okay? Ever en el mundo. All right, el mundo, you decide who you're going to be and then you leave the other part to el mundo. I'll be the first, Julia. Okay. I am so excited. We have to week off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I'll just stay home. Maybe I'll catch on on my reading. What about you? Any plans? Well, my parents have rent a condominium in Florida. I'm going to take long walks along to the beach every day and do lots of swimming. Sound great. Say, why don't you come with, with us? We have plenty of room. Do you mean it? I love to. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So then we continue with the next two volunteers. Who are going to be my next two volunteers? David and Antonio. Very good. And the second volunteer? Eh, Adam. All right. Adam and David eh, Antonio. David. Me voy a agrandar un poco, teacher, que he perdido los lentes. Hey, híjole, ahí se le quedó mal with this one. I don't know no, how to no do that. No me ver bien. Por eso no. To no be puedo honest, participar. let me see here. What I can do is I can send it to the WhatsApp group. So you can zoom in, in there. One second. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can send it to the WhatsApp group right now. Ahí sí. Mándemelo. Right now. Good evening, teacher. Okay. I am here. Hello, my friend. I am here for a moment. Enrique, excellent. Welcome to the class, my friend. I stay at Mr. Lucha. Thank you very much. Why am Mr. Adam? Ahí lo tiene ya. Estamos, estamos ahí, ready, listo. Okay. Eh, ¿Quién voy a ser yo, Julia o Nancy? The Ni one you prefer. Okay. I am so excited. We have excited, excited, excited. excited. Uh -huh. I am so excited. We have two weeks of of what are you going to do? I am not sure. I guess I just stay home. Maybe I catch catch up on me reading. What about you? Any plan? Well, my parents have plenty a condominium in Florida. I'm going to the to lay long war along to the beach every day and do a lot a lot of dreaming swimming so great so great say why do why do not you come with us uh -huh. us we have plenty of room uh -huh. do you do you mean it? I love to. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, um, Mr. Iglesias and David. All right. So very good. So let's see here. Uh, who are the next volunteers? Next volunteer. Hi, next volunteer. Saul. Exactly. Very good. Yes. And Benjamin, Great right? Teacher. Okay. Okay. Saul and Benjamin, go ahead. I represent Julia. Okay. Oh, Mincho. I am so excited. We have two weeks off. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. I guess I would stay home. Maybe I cash or I'm already. What are you do and plans? I'm plans. Well, my parents have rented a condominium in Florida. I'm going to take long walk along to the beach 
every day and do lots do a lot of swimming. So oh, great. Say why don't you come with us? We have plenty of room. Do do you mean it you love to? Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much in this one, right? So you were doing an amazing job as well. Thank you, right? Thank you for the effort and be the volunteer. All right. Let's go with two volunteers more, please. So we can finish. Two volunteers more. Yeah. Okay, Enrique is one. And the next one. Uh -huh. Okay, head on present. <laughs> Are you by it? Volunteer two. Santos. All right, go ahead. Uh, present, Julia. Okay. I am so excited. We'll have to meet off. What are you going to do? I am not sure. I was just stay house. Maybe I'll catch up on my reading. What about you? Any place? Well, my parents has rendu and condominium in Florida. I am going to take long walks alone, the beach every day, and locks on swimming. Song day. Songing. Sounds great. Song, uh -huh. Song day. Song. Say, why don't you come with us? We have with us. We we ask we ask plenty of, of room. Do you mean it? It long too. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, my friends, and thank you everybody who has participated. Thank you for reading, right? And I really appreciate and congratulate you because you are doing a very good job. All right. So let's see, let's pay attention to the next activity here. And now I want to hear you also talking. But we have this one right here. Take a look at this question, right? Yeah, everybody, look at the question. It says, what are your Christmas plans? Right? What are your Christmas plans right here? Okay, why don't you give me some ideas of the things we can do on Christmas? ¿Qué cosas podríamos hacer en Christmas, my friends? Uh -huh. To Be drink fair. until down. Which one? To drink, drink to, until down. To drink. All right. So what else? What else? What else? What else? ¿Qué más se podría hacer en Christmas? For, for to me, meet be, with the family. To meet with the me? family. For me, visit, visit family. Visit our families. So, it, 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 turkey, very good. De beso pegallina. All right, it, turkey. It, turkey. All right, excellent. Somebody else said, dream. Who decreased the Christmas tree? Teacher, ¿cómo se dice pan de relleno? It's stuffed bread. I have to clarify something right here. When it comes to los panes con pollo, we don't change the name. All right. Pero si le explicar, for example, a un americano, ¿cómo se, llama, ¿cómo se dice un pan con pollo? Sería un stuffed bread. Sería como un pan relleno. Stuffed bread. Stuffed bread. ¿Qué sería oh, el, no. lo que sería nosotros le aquí? Pan con pollo. All right, so very good, very good. What else? What else? Eh, ¿cómo, se, ¿Cómo se diría reventar cohete? That would be to play with firecrackers. Play with firecrackers. Play with fire. Pirotecnia. Firecrackers. 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 Fire. 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 Firecrackers. Fire. All right, to play with firecrackers. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What else? What else? Drink a good wine. Okay, very good. Drink a good wine. 
Andreas, what else? Oh, my God. Uh, what else can you do here? Mm. I love dance, all right, to dance. dance. Very good, dance. dance. What, what would dance. you like to dance? What type of music? Dancing uh, Oscar Roberto. <laughs> dance cool, Oscar Roberto. Yes, Oscar very Roberto. good, excellent. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, my friends. I truly appreciate this one right here. So, ustedes han dado aquí, you have given me eight activities that we can use during Christmas, right? To drink, to visit their families, to eat turkey, drink chicken soup, uh, stuffed bread, like we eat stuffed bread, to play with firecrackers. Aquí hace falta to eat, by the way. All right, so, oops, I'm sorry. Which means this one right here is supposed to be to eat. Yes, like this one. What happens? There you go. To eat stuffed bread, very good. And play with firecrackers, to drink good wine, to dance cumbias, all right? Todas esas activities that we have given me here. Ahora bien, this activities in Spanish, está bien si ustedes dicen Spanish, sobre las actividades, like for example, beber, visitar, comer, bailar, etc., right? But in English, in English, it will be necessary to have a structure para que esas oraciones queden en futuro. Why? Because when is Christmas? Christmas is basically in, uh, in two weeks, right? Entonces, eso es una acción en futuro. Ya no sería beber, sino que beberé o voy a beber. Ya no sería visitar, sino que visitaré o voy a visitar. O se right? le pone el auxiliar, eh, teacher, ahí will. Exactly. No. Y aquí es donde vamos a usar este auxiliar, here, all right, so... Eh, que vamos a ver a continuación. Let's see what is it. All right. This one right here. Take a look. So we are going to be talking about this one, which is something easier right here. All right. So if we have the auxiliary will. Right now, we are going to be talking about will. Esta, esta ocasión solo hablaremos acerca de will. Will, it will be the same as um, like when we have, for example, those things like like the what we have up to the verb, re or ra. This one, I can me refiero con esto. So, for example, jugaré, jugará, dependiendo del subject, right? Exactly. So that's actually what we we'll say right here. How will you say this one right here? Well, we go back here and say this one. Like, for example, vamos a ver cómo sería entonces esto aquí. Tenemos el will, it's just the auxiliary. We we'll put it like this one. Vamos a usar el auxiliary will with every subject right here, all right? Which means I, you, he, she, it, etc. All of them are going to use the verb, the auxiliary will. And the verb, the verb, it's not going to change. The verb, it's going to be in the base form, all right? So... Uh, for example, for example, here where it says um, this one, I will go there tomorrow, right? So if I want to say, for example, here, I will go this one, I will go there. That will be in Spanish. Yo iré allá. Understand? If I want to say, for example, podemos ver acá que el auxiliar sería will. Solo la palabra will aquí en este contexto no tendría significado solita. It will not have meaning like just by itself. Necesita ir de una sola vez con el verbo. Así se traduciría como iré. In future. All right. Luego seríamos there, I, am, and el I, we. I mean, I, yo. All right. So, estamos hasta aquí, my friends. Y ese will se utiliza solo para el futuro, ¿cierto? Just for future, exactly. Solo para futuro. Ah, yes, bueno. yes, 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 okay. yes. O sea que si digo voy a comer, I will eat. I will eat, exactly, exactly. Voy a comer. I, I will eat. Ahora, mm, something that we need to clarify, ese voy a comer es otra estructura. All right. Um, ese will debe entenderse como comeré, beberé, 
iré, ah, yeah, yeah. estaré, etc. Right? Yeah. Yes. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, for example, one, let me give you more examples right here. If I want to say, yo comeré pizza. I that will. Be in English. I. I will go pizza. I will eat pizza. All right. So, yes. Like that one. In, yo you go yo saldré one. mañana. Where? I want. Donde? I would. I won't go tomorrow. I won't. Uh, no, I will go. I will. Okay. I won't. No, 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 no. Wait, wait. ¿Qué fue lo que me preguntaron ahí en Spanish? Yo saldré mañana. Ah, yo saldré. Okay. So ese sería. Entonces... I will go. Exactly. Right. So yo I tomorrow. Saldré. I will go. I will go. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we go here. Sería yo saldré mañana y esto quedaría aquí como yo, I, right, saldré, I, will, y el verbo ir, I will go, go, go out, tomorrow, tomorrow. out, tomorrow, uh -huh. okay. porque es salir, ¿verdad? Sí. Si solo fuera ir, tal vez quedaría sí. como go, pero como dice sal, salir, sería oh, go out, oh, uh -huh. go out, tomorrow, correct, exactly, I right, will go y aquí podemos ir, tomorrow. like changing, el sujeto, no problem, for example, si yo quiero decir, ella vendrá mañana. How do you say ella vendrá mañana? She will come. Ella vendrá will. mañana. She will, will, will come tomorrow. She will come tomorrow. She will come tomorrow. She will come tomorrow. Exactly. There you go. She will come tomorrow. Yes. Like that one. All right. Understand? Yes. Okay. Then, something important that we need to use right here. Eh, a veces hay ejercicios donde se nos uh, aparece, por ejemplo, let me erase here. Vamos a orar aquí. All right, excellent. Birds hay ejercicios donde les aparece en esto, por ejemplo, les aparece el verbo así. To go. Ir. Así. Dice, con, y él dice, conjugue el verbo en futuro. All right, so, y Cesar dice, y este verbo, porque tiene aquí el tú. To go. Porque este verbo está en infinitivo. E infinitivo quiere decir en forma base, right? Mm. Infinitivo mm. actually means en forma mm. base. A la hora que usted aplique el ejercicio, hace caso omiso del tú. Ok, nunca va a usar tú aquí. Y quedaría entonces, por ejemplo, yo iré. I will go. Yes. Yes. Por ejemplo, cuando hay esos ejercicios, mm -hmm. aquí, por ejemplo, usted lo puede ver. Mira, you can see it right here. My God. Can use it too. All right, so you are going to use, you will, uh, you will go in this case. All right, mm -hmm. so el verbo will never change. El verbo se queda en su forma base siempre si solito. All right, understand? Very good. Understand. Very good, excellent. So then we continue with this one. Let's just go with the contraction uh, here. The contraction is cuando unimos este sujeto con will here. All right, that's going to be I'll, que sería I will, I'll, you will, you will, he will, he'll, she will, she'll, it will, it'll, we will, will, they will, they'll. They'll. Right. Eso se usa mucho para, you no, know, a veces, eh, yeah. reading, like texting sí. or speaking also, yeah. right? I'll yeah. do it for you. So, for example, tenemos aquí, I will go there tomorrow. Que sería, yo iré allá mañana. O puedo decir, I'll go there tomorrow, right? Cuando usted vea en esa contracción de una I, doble L, es porque estamos hablando de I will. When you see that one, it's because you're talking about I will. Are we clear? Questions? No question. No question, no teacher. Question. Okay, no excellent. Question. This is affirmative, of course, right? For the negative, we continue with this one. Take a look to the examples right here. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con el negative? With the negative, my friends, it's going to be very easy. Siempre seguimos la misma instruction right here. Tenemos aquí, esto es la forma afirmativa, miren. This is the affirmative way. I will, you will, he will, she will, it will, we will, they will. Para negativo va a quedar de esta manera. Vamos a cambiar de color. All right, so it's going to be here for this one. 
this one, a green one, que sería, I will not, you will not, he will not, she will not, it will not, we will not, and they will not. Y esa sería su forma contractada, here. This one here, 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 here. I want, you want, he want, she want, it want, we want. All right? Y esa sería entonces, yo no iré, ella no cantará, nosotros no participaremos, etc. Right? That's how you actually say it. Understand? Yes? Understand. Okay, yes. Yes. Here we have some examples. It says, I will be ready in five minutes. All right? How do you say this in English? I will be ready in five minutes. How do you say that in English? In I'll, Spanish, be ready. I'll be ready in six minutes. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sería entonces, yo estaré, what? Listo. All right? Listo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, you continue with this one. And uh, if you want to say negative, sería, I will not be ready in five minutes, or, usando la contracción, I want. Repeat it, want. I want. Want. The pronunciation of this one sería, se escribe, want. Y se pronuncia, want. 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 Así. Want. The want. pronunciation, all right? Want. 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 We're going to change the color here so you can keep it. Want. Repeat it, want. want. What? Want. There you Want. go. Excellent. All right? Want. So, do you have any questions Want. regarding this? Want. Mm -hmm. Any questions regarding this? Mm. No questions? No questions. No question. Very good. Excellent. So, we are going to see only one more right here, which is uh, the question. The questions actually structured, right? Take a look at this one right here. Wait, let me clean this. There you go. So then we go with the questions. You know that in every structure, the question structure changes the position of the auxiliary, right? So the auxiliary now, it's going to be at the beginning, right? So you can see that right here, this one. So una oración afirmativa sería así, miren. All right, so you go on this one. You will tell us the truth. You will tell will us the truth. Very good. You will tell, will us, tell us the truth. Tell us the truth. If I want to make it question, so I'm going to change, you know, the position between the auxiliary and the subject. So I'm going to change it. Y sería principio entonces acá. Will. All right, sería, will you tell us the truth? All right, so, and that's basically how you do it. All right. So, eh, that's it. ¿Y cómo se responden estas preguntas? O de yes or no. Yes, I will. O no, I won't. Nos dice la regla que we nunca usamos contracciones para estas respuestas cortas. Like, yes, I'll. No. Sería yes, I will. All right. So, understand? Yes, yes my yes. friends. Understand. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much on this one. All right. So, now, my friends, we are going to go well, to practice here. Easy. All right. Easy, easy, easy. So let's see this one. Okay, there it is. So in this exercise, you, my friends, have the, uh, the verbs here in parentheses. If you see not, obviously that is going to be negative. And at least for this exercise, we don't have questions. All right. So let's see if right now what is going to be the correct structure right here. So the number one, it says, you will earn. Remember what is the verb earn, my friends? What is it? Ganar. Ganar que? Dinero. Exactly, right? So, ganar dinero when you're working, for example, here. And you go on this one. So, the entonces en futuro, will earn. What will be here in the correct answer if we're talking about the number two? Mm -hmm. Viajar. I will, you, you will travel. You will travel. You will travel. Right? You will travel. travel around the world. Let me make it a little bit better. You will meet. No, no. You will travel. Remember, sería nada más el verbo y el eh, auxiliar, right? So, auxiliar is verb. Very good. Excellent. So, what about number three? Number three, number three. You will meet. 
you will meet a lot of interesting people. Right? You will okay. meet. Will meet. All right, very good. Excellent. You will meet lots of interesting people. Very good. Everybody. Uh -huh, number four. Everybody. 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 Uh -huh. ¿Qué sería ¿Qué ahí, eso? Uh -huh. Adore. 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 Como te uh -huh. adorarán. Uh -huh. Adore. Adorar. Uh -huh. How do you say that one? Everybody. Everybody will adore it. Adore you. Sería entonces, everybody? Will. Will adore you. Very good. Everybody will, will adore it. Adore you. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. So, let's just continue with the next one. Number five, it's negative. Sería entonces? Ah, uh, negative. You will not. Help. You will not. All right. Lo podemos dejar como you will not. Retractado. O contractado sería entonces. Retractado. You won't. Bon. You won't bon. have. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. What about number six? Many people. Uh -huh. Many people, yes. Many people, what? Many people. Uh -huh. Many people. Many people will serve. Will. Correct. Excellent. All right. So, oops, what happened? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Serve. 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 Serve you. Serve. Correct. Serve. Many, Many people, people will serve. serve you. Serve you. Awesome. They anticipate. They or, or they will anticipate. So they, what is it here? They will anticipate. Uh, uh -huh. They will anticipate it. All right. Very good. In the, In the negative, what will be number eight? Uh huh. What is it? What is it? In number eight. Uh huh. Mister Lucha. There, <laughs> there won't be. There. Uh huh. Won't. Won't be. Won't be. Be. Be exactly. Very good. And then everything. Ahora es afirmativa. Everything. Everything will be. Everything will be. Very good. Excellent. Y acá tenemos la 10 que tiene algo nuevo, que es un only. Ajá. Sería entonces acá. Auxiliar, auxiliar para el futuro, what's auxiliary? Will. Will. Le go by only. Y then? Only happen. Only happen. Ah, exactly. Very good. That will only happen. Very good. So like this one. Very good, very good. So do you have questions about this? No questions? No question. Okay, very good, excellent. So, well, that's the case, my friends. So now, please, quiz time, test time, test time. All right, very good, excellent, excellent. So time for a test. I want a little test, my friends, here. It's right, pretty. Yes, yes, yes. Ahí estamos con el test, my friends. There you go. Excellent. So that's the test. All right, all right, all right. Se lo dejo también en el grupo de WhatsApp. No problem. All right. Donde ustedes gusten entrar, no problem, of course. Okay, very good, very good, excellent. Ya tenemos a Ever inside the room. So we can start right here. Quickly, my friends, quickly, quickly, quickly. You can do it, all right? 
A ver, ingresemos, please. Edmundo is there as well. Very good. Let me drink some water, my friends. Ajá, uh -huh. what about the rest? Uh -huh. ¿A dónde inicio? Benjamin as well. Franklin, what happens, Mr. Iglesias? ¿Dónde Inici dice iniciar? Eh, ajá, para usted, yes. No me, no me agarra. Ya, ya le dio clic al link. Ponga un nombre, Iglesias. Ponga ah. un nombre, dice ahí. Okay, very good. So we start right now because of the time. Vamos a empezar ahorita. Very good. Excellent. Tengo mala señal aquí. It's okay, no worries. All right, so you can see it right here. No tengo señal, teacher. Ahorita estoy intentando. Now let's close these people. Let's start. Good. JT. Okay, look at this. Okay, so let's see what else. Let's uh, very good, very good. Good. Vamos, vamos. Franklin, what happens with Franklin? Hmm? Very good, Benjamin. Ever old. Mm -hmm. Very good, Ever. Teacher, me está dando problemas y no me puedo meter. No me puedo conectar. It's, <laughs> it's okay, no worries. We're about to finish. Oh, I understand. Me got it. Okay, okay, so it's in. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Time has ended. All right, so time's up. Let's see. You can see there the first three places is Benjamin. All right. Very, very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Thank you very much, my friends. All right, so let's just continue with the rest of them. All right, so in, uh, well, let's just go on this one. Thank you, my friends, for participating in the activities here. All right, truly appreciate your uh, responsibility, right, and your willingness to always participate in the activities here, right? I totally uh, thank you for that. And also, I hope you actually have a good night because we are going to stop right here. Vamos a tener hasta acá. So, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Remember, tomorrow we have classes, okay? Okay, Every teacher. Day. So, yes, I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good job with the weekend. No, no, no. I like weekend, no? Mañana we take tenemos classes. We have classes tomorrow, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.